We have covered images of protoplanetary disks and often wondered what the concentric rings actually mean. Are they really the precursor to planet formation, or is it symptomatic of some other process going on? We also looked recently at the concept that our universe is fractal, and here many things would repeat at many different scales. So I tentatively asked the question, what is the difference between a star and a galaxy? We know that our galaxy is made up of many stars, but if we consider this a fractal concept, are there equivalents on the scale of a star which would end up producing a similar shape? Do the same structures that we find around galaxies also form around stars? And equally, do the structures that we find around stars also form around galaxies? Let's explore where this could take us. Scientists have recently announced that they have discovered a complex set of spiral arms extending to a thousand astronomical units from the young visible star called RU LUP. Now we have actually covered this star in the past. An image showing the protoplanetary disk with multiple rings and gaps was what they proposed were the lanes planets might form in. The previous image was taken by imaging the dust only surrounding the star. In the latest image, they instead attempted to image the gas, and this revealed a totally different structure, more akin to a mini galaxy. Now this star is unusual in that it has unusually large bright variations, and these have not been fully explained. The fact that they only just discovered this spiral disk, which was imaged using the gases, also begs the question whether similar structures will be found around other images of protoplanetary disks. So what do they think caused the formation of these magnificent spiral arms? One idea is that this gas, which surrounds the star, is collapsing under its own gravity, creating this spiral. Another option is that it is accreting interstellar matter through environmental interactions, but they admit that none of these scenarios completely explain what they have observed. But should we be surprised to find this? When we examine galaxies, we see many examples of galaxies looking similar to some sort of protoplanetary star system. Now I've recently covered, as part of ARP's evidence, many examples of elliptical galaxies in the Virga cluster. Now these look just like large stars. If we take M49 as an example, this is considered a massive elliptical galaxy. No matter how large an instrument we use, we are not able to resolve any details inside this galaxy. No stars or any other features are visible. We also have examples of galaxies that have clear ring formations similar to the protoplanetary disks. Then there are examples like M87 with its famous blue jet. Now these jets are very similar to the jets that we see extending from some suspected new stars. And then there are also the mysterious herbig Harrow objects. Is it any surprise that these all look so similar? If the universe is fractal, then each step down should have patterns that repeat, but just with smaller base units. We also see examples of spirals on a much smaller scale in some of the earlier protoplanetary images, but the scale of these spirals dwarf those by a huge margin. Now one important point is that we see two types of structures overlaid in this image. Right at the heart we have the concentric circles, and then much further out we have the spiral arms that seem to feed that central structure. It's not hard to find examples of galaxies that look just like this. NGC 4622 shows spiral arms that seem to become more circular towards the centre. NGC 7742 is perhaps a better example of a galaxy with a mixture of concentric and spiral arms. Here is another striking example of two very different ring galaxies very close to each other. It's fair to say that we know so little about the objects that we are observing, and yet we make so many assumptions about what they are and where they are. We know from looking around our local neighbourhood what we think our galaxy should look like, and Andromeda fits this picture too, but there are many examples that do not fit this picture. Recently I covered the story of the mysterious radio circles, which may well be a totally new class of celestial objects. Maybe we need to be prepared for many more of these. As always, be brave, be curious, the truth is waiting for us. Until next time.